I've been uh, preparing a video on presence in microphones. And I like to do my preparation by hand. I, I look and I write by hand because I feel that writing by hand has a certain uh, something about it. And a step beyond that, I find writing with a fountain pen even more in the zone, if you will. Here's a book. I have several books with notes, so on and so forth. Whilst writing today, one of them ran out. The black one has damson ink, which is kind of purple. The blue one has cigar so see. These are all by Diamine in the UK, the inks. And the amber pen had or has ancient copper. So what I do hadn't cleaned them thoroughly for a while. I thought I may as well so dismantle them. Remove the ink converter and soak the section here and the ink converter in water overnight. Sometimes longer, flush the glass and do it again if they're writing badly. But these were okay, I just thought it's time to clean them. I noticed something. With the blue ink, I'd look at the section and the converter in the bottom of the glass, and the whole glass had a slight blue tinge. Very pretty. However, with the ancient copper, there was a tinge to the glass, but there was a collection of pigment down at the bottom by the nib. And I'd flush the glass and leave it again. Same thing. I'd keep flushing until nothing. With the damson, there was a little uh, collection of pigment, but an arrow shape going up the side of the glass. Why would that be, I thought? I guess it must be different properties of the pigment in the ink. You might not be able to see, but here's a damson. It ran out and I went to ancient copper and just for reference down the bottom, uh, a bit of the Sargasso Sea, which had only just been filled. So it's a bit uh, generous at the moment, as you can see. Apart from the, uh, the properties of writing with a fountain pen. There's all this involvement. And I can tell you, you don't get it with this. <laughs>